KNBC 9 News starts with first alert weather. Only in the beginnings of the winter storm and already noticing significant impacts on the roads as a heavy mixture of freezing rain, sleet and snow falls in the metro. We were watching that closely. Jamie Weiss watching many, many issues on the roads right now. We're going to check in with our live crews in minutes as well. Thanks for joining us for our special coverage. I'm Cody Holyoke. Yeah, good morning. I'm Donna Pittman. Hopefully you're having a good morning. Hopefully you're inside nice and warm because this is one I think we're going to be talking about um, for years to come. I yeah. think so. This this mix that we've had is really causing issues, Nick. A lot of yeah. issues on the roadways, yeah. too. Yeah, it certainly has. We started out with freezing rain and we had sleet and, and snow pellets and now we're kind of over to snow. Uh, really, it's just northern Missouri that will escape the greatest impacts. The winter storm warning is south of St. Joseph, Cameron and Chillicothe. It includes all of the Kansas City Metro and within that winter storm warning, snowfall totals ranging from three to four on the low side up to eight inches. And there is also ice to consider, which could be anywhere from a glaze up to two tenths, and that would be more than likely into central Missouri near Sedalia, Clinton and Warsaw. They're still in that mixed bag of freezing rain and sleet right now here in the Kansas City area. Uh, we've changed over mostly to snow, though I can't rule out some other types of precipitation just yet. So as we look at first alert live radar, this is just the tip of the spear, so to speak. This winter storm extends all the way down through North Texas with severe weather down into Oklahoma, and we have had lightning strikes across the Kansas City area this morning. Thunder sleet, thunder snow, and that convective element increases the rate at which the stuff falls out of the sky. So it, it falls faster, it accumulates quicker, conditions go downhill faster. Here in the plaza, our, our visibility is really down here. Uh, visibility is down under a tenth of a mile at the airport. North winds at 24. It feels like five degrees. So in the next couple of hours, we'll see a, a changeover to all snow for all of our communities and a steady snow for Kansas City lasting through three o'clock this afternoon. By three, that snow will start to taper off and then the rest of the evening will be dry. So the worst of it is now through three o'clock in Kansas City. What has changed since yesterday? What has been updated uh, from the last time you saw the snowfall map yesterday morning? A south shift, which last night Chief Meteorologist Brian Busby started to inch this a little farther to the south. We've inched it a little bit more this morning and a sharp drop off of snow on the north side. So that would give parts of the Northland two up to four inches of snow. You get just to downtown Kansas City and now you're in that four to six and then southern Jackson and Joko, Olathe, Lee Summit down the Belton. Now you're starting to get into that six to eight inch range of snow and then of course there's ice underneath that. So Jamie, we, we have just begun to touch on some of those amounts and we've already noticed a lot of impacts on the roads. Yeah, that's where I want to start is at I-70 where MoDOT had actually sent out an alert right as I happened to notice. This is a section of I-70 heading uh, eastbound where you can just barely make out these cars that are stuck along this uh, curve here. We saw a handful of cars here and here and here that the motorist assist actually had to come through and push them to get them out of the roadway to get them off the interstate because it almost looked like they were parked at this point. Looking at your metro map overall, we're starting to see more and more accidents popping up, including here on 435. This is westbound right by State Line Road. A lot of slowdowns reported as well. And one thing to keep in mind, you know, obviously all of these drive times are going to be considered red because you have really difficult road conditions to drive on. You've got a lot of snow, a lot of ice and visibility isn't great. A lot of our cameras are starting to get iced over. So just keep that in mind. And hey, if you need to check the road conditions while you're on the go today, make sure you're following KMBC traffic on Twitter. We're doing our best to post real time road conditions and updates to accidents we're following all morning long. We'll update those as we can. Donna. OK, thank you, Jamie. And we do want to get some live looks uh, right now uh, from our or of our roads. And here's a live look at Storm Tracker 9, not far from our station. And you can see snow covered roads. So this is really becoming ubiquitous um, across the metro and has just in the last hour, hour and a half. To continue our team coverage, we do want to check in right now with KMBC 9's Rebecca Gannon. Live in Raymore. And Rebecca, I know that you had a lot of wind there. Has it started falling where you are? Oh yeah, we've got some precip pre pre precipitation. It's painful actually right now. It's frozen of some sort. It looks like snow. It feels like sleet. It hurts. Go ahead, Vic. We can kind of show what it looks like in the in the wind, and uh, you can see it just blowing. The wind is strong here. Uh, 
Nick said earlier, wind chill of like nine or 10 degrees. It really feels that way. And when you've got whatever this is hitting you in the face, it just, it hurts in general. Uh, we've been doing this for about two hours now. We started the, uh, the morning in Belton. We came to Raymore around five in the morning. Here it is six. We have noticed that the precipitation finally is starting to come. And the thing is, and you've got a car going behind us. So far, the road is fine. That's Highway 58 behind us here in Raymore. The thing is, as you guys have mentioned all morning long, conditions will quickly change. So at four in the morning, there wasn't anything going on, but now here it is six and things are rapidly changing across the Metro. So again, if you have to go out, you better take a lot of time and be really prepared for getting stuck in this mess. And it is a mess. A lot of schools are closed. Other schools are doing virtual. I know Raypex schools, which are anyone who's in the Raymore area will be going to the Raypex schools. They are virtual today. So ideally people can stay home, do something to make sure that they are not on the roads and they are not out in this mess. And when I say mess, it's the truth. In Raymore, Rebecca Gannon, KNBC 9 News. Yeah, it looks like it sounds like it too. You can hear the precipitation hitting her jacket there. Thank you, Rebecca. Uh, tow truck crews are busy preparing for a busy day too. I mean, they're already started from what we've seen. Uh, at Jackson County Tow, we checked in yesterday. Staffers answered more than 140 calls over a 24 hour period in the last snowstorm. They expect to get about that same level today, maybe more. At Galvin's Lawn and Landscape, workers spent Wednesday attaching plows to trucks, making sure they're Plow blades work and loading up on salt. Both companies ask you for your patience. So we got a list of a lot of things in our office uh, that need to be done. And we explain to our customers that, you know, hey, you know, we'll get to it as soon as we can, weather permitting. You know, if we get these nice days in, our guys are out and they're hitting the pavement. Now, a reminder, if you do have to get out today, be sure to give the plows plenty of room. If you end up behind one, Stay behind one, slow down, give them their space. Just try to be patient. You certainly don't want to be on the side of the road stuck. Uh, the more space that you have, uh, that they have, excuse me, the faster they can get the roads clear and safe for you. And we do, uh, we continue to say thank you to our first right. responders because we understand that while we're saying uh, for all the right reasons, stay home if you can and you should. We know that many of you can't. Right, some people can. We know that uh, the issues with, with this mixed precipitation really causing major problems on the roads for those people who have to be on. Highly encourage you if you, if you do have to go out, uh, make sure you're wearing snow boots, maybe snow pants, your winter coat, have gloves, warm gloves, warm hat, dress like you're going to have to get out in the snow in case you have to get out in the snow uh, on your trip. Uh, now, snowfall rates, uh, they're increasing. They could be anywhere from one to two inches per hour this morning at the height of the storm, which we are just beginning. We still have that mixed wintry precipitation, Butler, Belton, Warrensburg, Sedalia, but by nine o'clock, all snow for all of our communities, especially south of St. Joseph and Chillicothe. You know, that's where we're going to get thumped with snow and it'll snow steadily through three o'clock this afternoon here in Kansas City. So the back edge doesn't come across I-35 until three o'clock this afternoon. Snowing continuously here in Sedalia, Clinton, Wardsburg and Marshall through six o'clock this evening. So this is a long duration event, you know, nine to 10 hours long. Earlier we had freezing rain, we had sleep, we had snow pellets. I can get into that, but let's not. A lot of snow now. <laughs> We're starting to notice more snow, Katie, and just more reports coming in on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'm curious to know what you have here outside our studios and if the wind has increased or not. The wind has just increased as you came to me, Nick. It is just blowing the snow right into my face. I have to tell you, the snowflakes have turned instead of the big fluffy floating flakes that we had a little bit ago. Now they're smaller again. It's not the grapple that we had earlier. It's still a snow, but it is cold and it is coming sideways. If you can't tell by looking at me, look at it in the street light. You can see it just blowing sideways here. And we're located between 435 and the Kansas City Zoo. You know, people are gonna be saying today, man, we're having a blizzard. So I thought we should address that. The definition of a blizzard is quarter mile visibility, 35 mile an hour wind gusts, either sustained or frequent gusts, and at least some snow coming down. Right now, we've got the reduced visibility. We've got plenty of spots reporting just a quarter mile visibility. 
But the question is, will it last for the mandatory three hours for it to, to be defined as a blizzard? We do have winds that are gusting, but they're gusting mostly to about 30 miles an hour. Occasionally, I've seen some come up to 35. It would have to hold that 35 for three hours. And we do have, obviously, snow coming down. Interestingly enough, with a blizzard, it doesn't matter how much snow is falling. It's not like you have to have five inches of snow. You just have to have snow in the equation, either snow that's already fallen and it's getting blown or snow that is coming down. So there'll be times today when we will have near blizzard conditions, but I think we're going to miss the absolute definition of a blizzard by an hour or two. Live outside of our KMBC studios, Katie Horner, back to you, Jamie. Boy, I have to tell you, the roads and the sidewalks are slippery. I can only imagine. Please try to stay warm out there. Oh my goodness. Well, let's take a look at the traffic maps. You're seeing a lot of red. You're seeing a lot of orange. That means that things are really slow. What I want to point out two crashes is all that we're seeing this morning, but watch what happens when I press this. We've got two crashes, but a lot of stalled vehicles. Look at this. I mean, you've got pretty much exclamation points all across the metro and road conditions. Visibility really not good. I want to show you a quick live look here on I-70 where you can see there's a lot of snow on the road. This is something I'm going to be keeping a close eye on. 70 has been a problem spot for us pretty much all week long. Let's check it with Johnny Rowland, see what he's seeing this morning. Good morning, Johnny. Uh, good morning, Jamie. Yeah, I think uh, everybody knows the drill by now. If you do have to get out, it's uh, actually it's kind of the bottom line with all this is in that regard, the slower you go, the better off you are. So I want to show you a couple of things here. You see the flashing lights down there at the bottom of the screen. That's going to be uh, 435 eastbound Mission Road. We had an accident there, but just occurred right above that uh, that sign there. Uh, that's a pickup truck that is spun out in the westbound lane. So here's kind of how this progresses. Now we're going to start seeing a lot of those those kind of accidents. We do have a lot of traffic on the road. Unfortunately, this didn't start early enough for it to be bad enough for people, to, a lot more people to decide to stay home. So it looks like we're going to have a lot of people on the road, uh, and that just means a slow go. So if you do have to get out, it's going to be slippery. That's a, a no-brainer. So uh, the slower you go, the better off you're going to be. And probably in the next hour or two, as more snow falls and uh, the uh, really the speeds on the highways get lower and lower and lower, we'll have fewer accidents. But I think for this next hour or two, it could be a little bit uh, rough in that regard. So be prepared when you head out. I'm sure that's a no-brainer as well. Johnny Rollins, News Chopper 9, back to you in the studio. Yeah, dicey at best, Johnny. And we know, as we've seen and and... Jamie's been showing us too all the spin outs and installed yeah. cars. This is going to be an issue as the day goes on. Yeah. Also keeping a close eye on how the winter storms affecting flights at KCI. Now the airport has prepared for this today and also prepared for cancellations. A live look at the big board and we're seeing more red than we were. This is flykci.com left side of your screen. Yep, those are cancellations, a lot of delays. So make sure that you check before you head to the airport, whether it's you catching a flight. Maybe you're going to go pick somebody up flykci. Com. Now, this is just the beginning of our first alert weather coverage. That's right. To help keep you safe on this alert day, we have crews in all corners of the metro. Storm Tracker 9 is deployed and out on the roads. We'll have a live report from first alert meteorologist Neville Miller in just a few minutes. We're seeing more and more accidents across the metro. As they continue to pop up, we'll keep you posted on road conditions if you do have to head out. And it will start snowing heavier in the next few hours. We could have snowfall rates of one to two inches per hour. Meanwhile, we still have freezing rain and sleet into central Missouri. We are just at the beginning of this winter storm. Our first alert hour by hour forecast to help you start your day. You're watching KNBC 9 First News leading the way. And welcome back into 616. Take a look at your first alert traffic. Really, I don't know if I've ever seen uh, this much widespread snow uh, covering the highways pretty much all over town. And so few accidents report. I think we have three or four. Unfortunately, I'm not sure how long we can keep that up as more folks get on the road and more snow comes down. It's supposed to be an accident here, 635 State Avenue. Kind of tough to tell. Really snowing hard there. Uh, but uh, right now, it looks like everybody getting by okay. Failing speed's really coming down, though. Johnny Rollins, News Chopper 9, Jamie.
back to you in the studio. Thanks, Johnny. Yeah, only a handful of accidents to report this morning. Still waiting for a few to um, fill in here on our map, but we've got at least one 435 a westbound near State Line Road. We have another that's in the process of being cleared over on 35 southbound near 67th Street. I want to show you a quick live look this morning from uh, Overland Park. Just look at how hard this snow is coming down. I got a great descriptor of it. If you remember Star Wars when they go into, you know, hyperspace, that's kind of what it looks like the way the snow is just pelting across the screen. We'll continue to track road conditions all morning long. Donna. OK, thank you. We want to show you live pictures from Storm Tracker 9. Neville Miller is inside. We're going to check with Neville in just a bit. But first, let's continue our team coverage live in Shawnee, where KNBC 9's Martin Augustine has been watching this change of precipitation, and it's really coming down now, Martin. Well, yeah, it is pouring. It's really been coming down for the last 90 minutes or so, uh, but it is now mostly snow. Before, it was that wild mix of sleet and rain and grapple. Uh, now it is pretty much snow. We're here at the entrance of the Public Works uh, barn here in Shawnee on Johnson Drive, just west of I-435. Just want to draw your attention. A plow's come through the, the main uh, parking area here and driveway. Look how deep that snow is that's been pushed to the side. That's illustrating uh, how much snow is falling. And that translate, even at this distance, if you look out onto Johnson Drive, and this is a main artery, it's going to get plenty of attention over the course of the day. Right now, though, there's one lane that's kind of plowed out, and that's getting filled in a little bit by the snow that continues uh, to come down. It is a heavy snow, and so in all likelihood, Shawnee will be implementing uh, its snow plow plan for four inches plus today. Uh, which includes the main roads getting plowed uh, edge to edge. And at that point, then they'll take a run through the residential neighborhoods. Reporting live, Martin Augustine, KBC 9 News. Long day ahead of them. Martin, thank you. Let's get back out to Storm Tracker 9 out on I-435 crossing the state line. Yeah, first alert, meteorologist Neville Miller in the passenger seat there. Neville, good morning to you. What are you seeing? Hey, good morning, Donna. Good morning, Cody. And uh, yeah, you know, just like everyone else has been saying, uh, we are certainly seeing the snow covered roads. We saw a vehicle uh, literally just some moments ago spin out right in front of us. So don't be fooled if it looks like there's just that very thin snowpack on the road and you think it's not that slick. It really is. Most people are going slowly here. If you do have to head out, you want to make sure you're taking it easy. In fact, I see some uh, lights up here ahead of us, so there may be another traffic issue. Again, we're on 435. We just crossed over to the Kansas side, so we're on the south side of the metro. The visibility certainly has been poor. The road conditions over the last hour and a half have gone downhill very quickly. So if you have to head out, plan on a lot of extra time on the roads. And with this snow coming down so heavily, as Nick has been mentioning, snowfall rates of one to two inches of hour, an hour, you could go somewhere, be there for a few hours, and then come back out and have several inches of snow on the ground. Even just watching our newscast and getting ready in a matter of an hour, one to two inches may fall in that time and really have an impact on the road. So uh, extra caution, extra time, extra patience. And of course, as we've been saying, if you can, uh, I just recommend go ahead and staying in this morning. Live Storm Tracker 9 along 435, Neville Miller, KBC 9 News. And Neville's running right along 435. And if 435 looks that bad, then those north-south highways there, State Line, Roe, Nall, Metcalf, Antioch, Quivira, they've got to be worse. So getting to 435 will be a, will be a major issue. And then when you're on it, you know, it's just going to keep getting worse. The, those hourly snowfall rates that Neville's been mentioning uh, within the winter storm warning, which includes all of Kansas City through 6 o'clock this evening, that's going to make it hard even for the plows to keep up. And within that winter storm warning, snowfall amounts of three to four inches on the low side, upwards of eight inches on the high side. And we've already got that ice down a glaze to two tenths of an inch. That higher ice accumulation is more than likely going to be in central Missouri, where we still have kind of a mixed phase or mixed bag of wintry precipitation, freezing rain, sleet, maybe a few uh, snowflakes mixed in there from Butler, Clinton to Sedalia. But you get back to I-35 where you have all blue and the reports coming in from our field crews from you on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. I'm curious of what's following in your town. You can send me a direct message. Nick Bender, KMBC. It's all snow and, and heavier snow here in Kansas City. When you have the visibilities dropping two and below a quarter of a mile, which we do in parts of Kansas City, that's heavy snow. We even had thunder snow earlier this morning. So that's the view from the plaza. It's 22 degrees. We have wind sustained to 24, gusting to 33. Visibility at the airport is under a tenth of a mile and a wind chill of five. It is a stinging, bitingly cold north wind 
driving that snow. We're in the beginnings of this winter storm uh, now moving over more towards snow here in Kansas City, lasting through 3 o'clock this afternoon with that heaviest snow probably through 2 and then tapering off at 3 o'clock this afternoon for Kansas City. All snow here into central Missouri by 9 o'clock and then just watch the blue. This is 9 o'clock all the way into this afternoon. This is the forecast of the radar. The back edge doesn't come through I-35 in Kansas City until 3 o'clock and it doesn't clear central Missouri until 6 o'clock this evening. So it's a long duration winter storm. Snowfall amounts from yesterday. What has changed with this map? A slight and expected shift to the south and a sharp gradient or sharp drop off in snow on the north side of that heavy swath. Still kind of squeezed and elongated from southwest to northeast. So what that will do for the metro is you're going to get a sharp drop off here. You get up to the Northland, Clay Como, Gladstone, Liberty, two up to four inches and you go just downtown and you have four to six uh, independence over to KCK, Southern Jackson and Southern Johnson County, Kansas, Jackson County, Missouri. You're pushing closer to six and then quickly up to an eight inch snowfall potential for Warrensburg, Marshall, uh, maybe even Southern sides of Lee Summit, Belton, Harrisonville, Paola and Lacine. Now you can see if, if there's just a slight five mile shift north or south, you could go from four to six, maybe seven inches of snow. But regardless, Four inches, eight inches, you throw ice under there, it'll have the same impact on the roads. And the roads are already bad, and we're going to put more snow down on top of that. So it's all over this evening. Tomorrow morning, I got to imagine that there might be school closures or virtual learning because the roads are just going to be worked over and it will get bitterly cold. We'll drop down to five degrees there. And then by Sunday and Monday, this winter storm is an afterthought. We're near 60 degrees on Sunday, 57 on Monday. Last week, this week, next week, Wednesday and Thursday, there is the potential of another uh, winter storm system, but you know, that might as well be <laughs> two months away right now. We have a lot of winter storm to go through with this one. We just wanted to alert you to that potential for next week, Wednesday and Thursday. All right, Nick, thank you. As the snow picks up where you live, we want to see it. Thanks to Ray and Julie for this picture. We really appreciate it. We're keeping coming into our, our news at KNBC.com. Still time to get your pictures on TV. Again, send them to our news email address, newsknbc.com. Share them through social media. Search KNBC on Facebook or Twitter. Thanks to Dave for this one. See the, the snow blowing around in the breeze there. We might put your pictures on the air as we continue our special First Alert Weather Alert Day team coverage. Next. It's 627. We want to take some live pictures from Storm Tracker 9. They're along 435 in Overland Park, and you can see there's quite a bit of snow and ice on the roadways. And as we're along 435, I want to show you another area that's near State Line. This is a live look at 435 and Warnell Road. I want to point this out because there's an accident report at State Line Road. But if you look closely, you can see these tire tracks along the edge of the road. I want to bring this up because Katie got my attention. We watched a car spin out on the road. Fortunately, an accident didn't happen. The other cars were able to stop, but there the streets are just so slick out there that we want to just come out here. Remind you, if you are traveling today, keep in mind conditions are not great. Donna. OK, all right, thank you. Well, today's weather could impact a mask meeting in Johnson County, Kansas. The meeting is planned for 930 this morning, and they were set to talk about ending the order. Right now, masks are required in school buildings with students up to sixth grade. We'll let you know about the status of that meeting. And because of the winter weather, all Johnson County libraries are opening later today. They will open at noon. Uh, the county health department is canceling prenatal clinic appointments. All other health department services are open, though. County's mental health center is canceling transportation services, but the county court is open today. This morning, you are likely waking up to scenes like this. And guess what? Yeah, we're just getting started with this winter weather. Our team coverage continues on First News with live reports from both sides of the state line. KNBC 9 News starts with First Alert Weather. Seeing as we were only at the beginning of a long winter storm here in Kansas City. 
Right, and we have team coverage across the metro. Martin Augustine, Rebecca Gannon, both sides of the state line. Very different a tale of two states there. Live pictures from Neville Miller and, New and Storm Tracker now giving you a firsthand look at road conditions as well as we continue this special team coverage. Thanks for joining us on a very busy wintry Thursday morning. I'm Cody Holmian. Good morning. I'm Donna Pittman. Martin is not getting no. a break out there no, in Shawnee. You saw that live picture. My goodness. And there's this, it's a driving snow and a driving sleet earlier. The, our field crews, our hats off to you. They played such an important part earlier. Oh, yeah. They will all day long, but earlier in helping us say, hey, it's switched over now, you mm -hmm. know, because even the radar can't pick that up as yeah. quickly as our eyes can. So they, they had a great service there. And I got to tell you, it is all snow now and it is coming down and we could see snowfall rates now into this afternoon in some areas of one to two inches per hour within the winter storm warning, which is south of St. Joseph and Chillicothe. So you get up into northern Missouri, you're not going to get much out of this, but you get down south of 36 highway and you're in it. You're in it in a big way. We have snowfall uh, amounts within that warning three inches on the low side, uh, but many of us could be on that that halfway and higher side. So five, six, seven, eight inches and there is ice underneath that snow it was a combination of freezing rain, sleet and snow pellets or what we would call grapple. First alert radar this morning. We still have a mixed precipitation, freezing rain, sleet and possibly snow. Butler, Clinton and Sedalia. But farther back to the west, uh, you can just see where the cold air is starting to win out now as the column of air is cooling and that's allowing it to switch over to all snow and across Kansas City and I-35. It is heavy snow in spots, reducing visibility under a mile. We're looking for the dark shades of blue here in Zona Rosa and Parkville up over Gladstone and Liberty. I am getting some reports already on my Instagram page, Twitter and Facebook. Nick Bender KNBC of two to three inches combination of sleet and snow in some spots, and we're just at the beginning. City view cam there in the plaza. The visibility is in the tank. We have strong north winds gusts to 33 and it feels like five. So it will continue to snow on our 12 hour forecast in Kansas City all the way through two o'clock this afternoon before we start to see the snow tapering off at three. So that's when the snow ends. So what has changed with our snowfall map from yesterday? Just a slight shift to the south and a sharp drop off of snow on the north side of the heaviest swath. This this is changing right over Kansas City. You could go from maybe two to four inches at the airport and you could get over parts of uh, the Northland and you could be pushing over four into downtown southern Jackson County, southern Johnson County, Lee Summit, Olathe may receive over six. We're in that heavier swath from the southwest to the northeast. And then again, keep in mind there's also ice underneath that. So it's just the beginning, Johnny uh, and Jamie, just the beginning of this winter storm. And we've already seen so many impacts on the roads. Reported in the last 10 15 minutes or so. You mentioned the ice uh, underneath all of this. Actually, the more snow we get, the better it's going to be. A lot more traction on snow than we have on ice. It sounds a little counterintuitive, but that's the way it works. This, the latest accident, or one of them, I should say, reported in the last 15 minutes. Northbound I 35 87, and it looks like somebody spun out there. A couple of vehicles involved. And that's the bad part about this. Uh, this, even if you get out there and you're careful, if uh, someone next to you or passing you isn't then you can get all wrapped up and it wasn't even your fault. So uh, this is uh, very representative of what the road conditions are if you are heading out this morning. And now we are really seeing those uh, speeds come down. Johnny Rollins, News Chopper 9. Jamie, back to you in the studio. Thanks, Johnny. As we take a look at our traffic maps, we're seeing at least seven crashes reported this morning. I want to start off in the Northland near where Johnny was talking about. There are so many accidents near each other that I can give you the details next to each other. So we got on 29 and on 35, two different crashes. As we head down into Kansas City, you've got 635 and 70 westbound, two different crashes there. And now let's take a live look over here. 435 northbound, a crash. You can see those flashing lights, but the visibility is just so difficult. You can't really see. We want to go ahead and bring in Storm Tracker 9. Neville is driving along I-35 this morning, and thank goodness they're taking it slow because it looks scary out there just how white. And, you know, with the blue lights, it's not really helping, but it looks eerie out there. Uh, yeah, you're right, Jamie. And thankfully, at least most people are driving slowly. Some are going a little faster, but uh, we are along I-35. We're heading south. So we're heading into Olathe. And, yeah, you can see the road conditions here. The roads are definitely covered. It is snowing very heavily, as we've been mentioning here. It's been snowing pretty hard for at least about uh, the last 
two hours or so and yeah the road conditions have gone downhill rather quickly so if you have to head out as we've been saying extra caution is so important because uh, the inside lanes or outside lanes especially the ones where there's a little less traffic in them the snow is actually caked down there I'd say between about an inch to almost two inches of snow in some of those spots there so you hit some of those patches and it's very easy to lose control we've seen several vehicles this morning since we've been out already lose control and the snow just continues to pick up it looks like we've got a, a KDOT crew uh, coming in northbound here along I-35 in front of us off in the distance so the crews are out working but you know big recommendation here with the heavy snow with the deteriorating road conditions if you can stay inside today just go ahead and do it because again certainly some slippery conditions we've seen some of those issues out here uh, just in the last hour alone but we'll keep you updated here live in storm tracker 9 on I-35 here heading into Olathe, Neville Miller, KBC 9 News. Neville, thank you. And again, we understand that some people have to be out, but slow and steady wins the race here. Don't be in a hurry to get anywhere. If you do get stranded on the highway during the storm, remember these numbers. Put them in your phone right now. It's probably a good idea. Call Star 55 in Missouri. Get help from state troopers there in Kansas. Call Star 47. You stay put in your call car until help arrives, but those are the numbers that you need to call if you're out on the highway and stuck. Continue our team coverage this morning south of the metro. We go down to Raymore, where folks are likely to see more than six inches of snow by the time this is all said and done. Starting to see it pick up a little bit now, Rebecca Gannon. Yeah, we are. If you've been following us all morning, we have gone through pretty much every part of precipitation we could. We started with rain. We had some sleet. In the last 20 minutes, we've really gotten some good snowfall starting here. And that should be making sense to anyone who's seen it come from the Northland down into Kansas and now here in Raymore. The road behind me here is Highway 58, and it's... In the last 15, 20 minutes is when it became snow covered. I'll step out of the way so you can kind of see what it looks like without a reporter standing in front of it. You can see the wind is still blowing. Wind chill is probably 10, 15 degrees right now, depending on where you stand when the wind hits you. Um, and it's not as painful as it was at 6 o'clock. It was, it was much more sleet infused. This one, we at least have a little bit more snow, so it's a little softer when it hits you in the face. But as everyone's been saying, go ahead and take it slow if you have to be. We've gotten reports in Southern Cass County, Harrisonville area, of a lot of ice. We've gotten reports of slide offs just down the street from us here on Highway 58. So we have a lot of road conditions that are quickly deteriorating. So as we've been saying all morning, if you don't have to be out, just don't. Raypack schools, which is where kids would be going if they were here in Raymore, are virtual today. And a lot of schools either canceled school and made it a snow day or went virtual today. Again, trying to keep as many people as possible off the roads because the roads are not going to be getting any better as the storm continues to come through. In Raymore, Rebecca Gannon, KNBC 9 news. Rebecca, thank you. Now on the Kansas side, Shawnee Road Crews are finishing up their overnight shift to help you with a safe drive. KMBC 9's Martin Augustine is there. I'm talking as quickly as I can because you look miserable. <laughs> Well, we're just we're getting the snow right in the face where we are, and it, and uh, we've tried a couple different places, and it's the same result uh, every time. Um, but the thing about what's happening here in Shawnee, and we see a plow coming around in here now to uh, reload on salt, is they're starting to make the transition from the overnight crews to the dayside crews. But the mission's going to be the same. Uh, they're going to be working on the main streets here uh, to uh, uh, plow that out as best they can, and then get a pass in on the residential streets. It's their plan for when it's expected to get more than. Uh, four inches of snow in the Shawnee area, and that's certainly uh, uh, already kind of at that point at this point. We've gone through a crazy blend of weather so far this morning. Uh, this uh, snow uh, uh, is, 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 is peanuts compared to uh, 90 minutes an hour or, or hour and 45 minutes ago when we were getting everything. Uh, the, the snow, sleet, rain, ice, uh, all that stuff, uh, and, and getting it uh, driven into us by that uh, by that, uh, by that wind, it was really uh, something else. But now it's just an issue where there's a lot of snow out on the main roads. We're going to go take a look at that uh, and, uh, for you in our next hit. Uh, and no matter how fast you plow it, the way it's coming down, it's, it's coming right back up. Reporting live, Martin Augustine, KMC 9 News.
and blow it around in all kinds of different directions. Well, and that really tells the story. Oh. Sorry that Martin has to be the one uh, and the photojournalist right. he's with to do that. But, you know, you heard him, Nick. He said he's, they've moved in different directions and the snow continues to be at their face. That tells us a lot about the wind out there. And a mm -hmm. tremendous amount of wind and the snowfall rates are, could be up to one to two inches per hour now as we're we're moving into the height of the storm where we're getting those those faster snowfall rates. So it's really starting to add up. There are parts of Kansas City already. Uh, I have viewers sending me uh, pictures on a uh, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram of two, three inches of snow already. And we have the rest of the morning into the afternoon to go. So we, there, it really could be one of those cases to where we we get, you know, four inches of snow north of 435 near Smithville, and then you push closer to eight inches of snow when you get down to southern Jackson and southern Johnson County, Kansas. So that's, you know, a four to eight inch gradient right over the metro. You see the snow continues to the rest of the morning through three o'clock this afternoon. The back edge coming over 435 in Kansas City. Meanwhile, still light to moderate snow here into central Missouri. Butler, Clinton, Urich, Warrensburg, there's a big slug of snow and sleet that is just now starting to move into your communities. Uh, you really haven't gotten in on the heavier winter precipitation here so far this morning, but you will over the next 30 to 60 minutes, Donna. All right, thank you. Well, we do continue our team coverage this morning right outside the station here at KNBC. Yeah, we've seen the snow build as well with First Alert Meteorologist Katie Horner. Katie, what are you seeing right now? Well, we brought out this glass cup, if you will, and we've been keeping track of the measurement with it, and we're right at an inch here. And I've gone around and checked this in different areas around the building, and it confirms about an inch. You know, and we've been talking about the wind and the visibility, and it brings us to mind blizzard. And we're not going to have blizzard conditions today. I wanted to let you know that. There'll be times when we hit the criteria, but we won't hold it for three hours. That's going to be the main thing. Visibility needs to be a quarter of a mile. Winds have to stay about 35 miles an hour, either sustained or frequent gusts. And you have to have either snow falling or snow being blown around on the ground for three hours for it to be, as Nick calls it, a bona fide blizzard. So it's not going to be a bona fide blizzard, but it is definitely an impactful snowstorm that is bringing us wind chills right now because of these 30 mile an hour winds down into the teens and a single digits this morning. So if you're heading out in this, just keep in mind you need to be dressed as if you're in the teens. As we've seen from our traffic maps, people are slipping and sliding all over the place. Just not a great day to be out. Back to you. Okay. Katie, thank you. Our winter storm coverage continues right now with First News. It is an alert day. We have all corners of the metro covered for you with our crews on the ground and in Storm Tracker 9. Yeah, that's right. Uh, we are here in Storm Tracker 9 in Olathe, and the roads are covered already about an inch and a half, maybe two inches of snow on the ground. I'll have another update on your road conditions in the metro for your Thursday morning commute coming up. Our first alert 12 hour day planner so you can prepare for what's next. KNBC 9 First News leading the way. Welcome back at 647. I want to take another update, updated look at our traffic map. Several more accidents being reported. I want to focus in on the triangle where this is the scene. 49 northbound heading into 470. You can just see those flashing lights and the visibility isn't great, so you can't see a lot of the details of this accident, but we've been told that at least two lanes are impacted because of this accident. Johnny Rollins checking out another crash that we're dealing with this morning. Good morning, Johnny. Good morning, and uh, Jamie, right now we're seeing a lot of accidents causing big backups, too, and Northland not doing well at all. This is southbound I-29 uh, down to I-35 and the merge there off to, correction, this is southbound I-35, and to the right, that off-ramp would be to I-29. Then it's the visibility is down so far, you can't really even see where I-29 joins there, too. So an accident near Parvin Road, that's the reason that we're down to a crawl here. Backup from this is forever, all the way back beyond North Brighton, Vivian Road, and then another accident up uh, I-29 near Vivian Road, and uh, they're saying Wacomas, actually, and that's going to uh, be a big backup and down to a crawl as well. So slowly but surely, we're seeing the speeds come down, and uh, with that, uh, more accumulation that's going to be uh, slower and slower on the highways, which bad news if you're trying to get around and get someplace on time. Great news as the slower speeds get, the less likely we are to have serious accidents. So uh, it is evolving as it typically does in that regard. Johnny Rollins, News Chopper 9, back to you in the studio. And we're just at the beginning, Johnny, of this 
winter storm. You know, maybe we're starting to move in the middle of it, but it's going to last until 2, 3 o'clock this afternoon. And snowfall rates between now and then may exceed an inch per hour. They could briefly climb up to two inches per hour. You get some of the heavier banding moving in within the bigger swath within our winter storm warning. So for far northern Missouri, you know, you're not going to have that many significant impacts out of this one. It's really south of St. Joseph and Chillicothe for widespread snowfall totals, three inches on the low side, but we may see many communities come in on that higher side of five, six, seven, eight inches, and there is a glaze of ice and sleet and <laughs> grapple packed down underneath the snow. So that's why it is an alert day as we have a big winter storm and we're seeing heavy mixed phase precipitation. Mixed phase meaning uh, freezing rain, sleet, maybe some snow, uh, but this is probably still mixed precipitation. You get back into the blue. That's all of the Kansas City Metro and it's all snow and it will stay all snow for the duration into this afternoon. I do want to zoom in a little bit closer here. I mean, this would be heavy freezing rain and sleet. I mean, just real dark shades of purple here over Butler moving up toward Harrisonville. We might even get parts of Belton in on that uh, Warrensburg 50 highway to Sedalia and Clinton here in Kansas City. It is all blue and again, snowfall rates could easily exceed one inch uh, per hour at times. Visibility is quite low. It's under a quarter of a mile in, in most spots. North winds at 24 gusting to 33. That wind chill value is five. It is bitingly cold out with that wind blown snow. 12 hour forecast in Kansas City snow through two o'clock moderate to heavy snow Then the snow rapidly tapers off at three o'clock this afternoon. Much like this storm started, it just ramped up quickly. It will end fast when it does start. So future scan shows a changeover to all snow into central Missouri by nine o'clock and then steady snow lasting through three o'clock this afternoon in Kansas City. Here comes the back edge over I 35 at three o'clock. It will continue to snow into central Missouri through six o'clock this evening. So we still have a lot of winter storm uh, to go through and the roads are already. I mean, they're in bad shape and it's just the storm. I mean, when you have snowfall rates that are one to two inches per hour and then you've got ice underneath that. It's just hard to clear it off. What has changed with our forecast snowfall map since last night? Not a whole lot, maybe just a, 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 a hair farther to the south with the heaviest snow, and we still expect that sharp drop off or gradient on the north side, and that's right over Kansas City. So it really could be like this where you get up into northern Platte and Clay, you get up north of 435 and Smithville Lake, and it might be you know, two to four. You start getting south of a, a 152 highway into Parkville and Gladstone and downtown, and you might be just over four, maybe pushing six. And then southern Jackson and southern Johnson County, Olathe and Lee Summit could get over six inches within that heavier swath of six to eight in the red. So kind of a squish together, Donna, but still a long southwest to northeast band of heavy snow. All right, now let's get back to meteorologist Neville Miller, who is riding along in Storm Tracker 9. And Neville, you are at I-35 northbound north of Olathe. Oh, that's right, Donna. You know, we're heading into uh, Lenexa, and the go is still snow, still snowing heavily, just like Nick mentioned. And we've seen a few more uh, wrecks here on 35. So just indicative, just illustrating what the road conditions are like. The traffic has picked up a little bit, so there are more people who still have to head off to work or wherever they're going this morning. So just use extra caution because the roads, as you can see there, uh, they are caked. They have that snow uh, packed down right now, and in some spots certainly it's kind of mushy in some of the outside lanes where there's a little less traffic. About, I'd say here, Olathe heading into Lenexa, we're heading northbound about two inches of snow now on the ground at least, and it's still snowing heavily right now. So we're gonna keep a very close watch on your drive as we continue through the morning into the afternoon. Of course, more weather updates here on KBC 9 News. Welcome back everyone, 656. Several accidents reported on 635, including right here at State Avenue. You can see all those flashing lights. Visibility is really low. If you do have to get out today, make sure you build in a lot of extra time. We're seeing more and more accidents pop up across the metro. And Jamie, we're in the height of the storm right now. Hourly snowfall rates could exceed one inch up to two inches per hour. Still have a mixture of freezing rain, sleet and snow there in the purple for Butler, Clinton and Sedalia. It is steady snow here for Kansas City and it will likely last through two to three o'clock this afternoon. And the roads are already, as Jamie and John have been reporting on, 
They're in bad shape and they're yeah. only going to get worse. All right, and quick programming note, because of the storm, we're going to continue our coverage on KMBC 9 and KCWE at least until 9 o'clock. We're going to move Good Morning America to MeTV Channel 9.2. All right, thank you for being with us this morning. Stay safe.